Hello friends, Eli here from Mystic Circuits. Today I want to show you a different way to use the vert in some very strange audio applications and even as a standalone noisemaker. This first example comes from discussions with a customer where he noticed that sometimes when nothing is plugged in, the LEDs from the vert would still be blinking. After a bit of back and forth, we were both satisfied to say that this is not a bug, it's a feature. Here's why. So we'll start off with a vert with nothing plugged in. I have sound coming from the voltages expander, mostly so that I can quickly switch between different bits. And then the signal is going through my Zlob modular Thomas Henry state variable filter um, through the high pass filter, which is all the way open just to remove any DC offset. Um, there's a very small set of sweet spots where we can get the vert to spit out this noise. Here are my settings. Um, the vert is in bipolar mode and high frequency mode with the frequency knob almost all the way up and the input attenuator almost all the way down. You'll notice that if I turn the input attenuator, the LEDs will blink even though they shouldn't really. And it's right on the border between the LED being on and off that we get this kind of sound. Um, we can still use the FM and frequency knobs, and it'll have a pretty large impact on the sound. Um, but again, it's a small set of sweet spots, so I'm going to be tweaking these knobs a lot in order to get this sort of sound. Um, also, this sound is extremely sensitive to power situations. So, take a look at this. So obviously that's not supposed to happen. Um, in my particular situation, I have a Micro Zeus, which is daisy chained to a cheap DC switching uh, Chinese power supply, which is not the cleanest power situation that you could have, but you can probably get these sort of sounds from any power supply. They just might not be exactly the same. Um, even changing an LED in the, in the row that you're in will change the sound. So if I put it back to the sound, then... And you'll notice that none, nothing is plugged into the vert right now. It's literally just going off of the changes in the power supply. If I cycle the LFO, you get this blinking LED changing something about the power supply. Even just pushing that button will make a pretty big difference. Um, but of course, I can also plug this LFO into the FM input and, and get a pretty large effect on the sounds that are coming out. believe there's some bleed from the FM input into the normal input, but as you can see, there's nothing coming out right now. Another fun trick yielding some interesting results is to plug audio into the FM input rather than an LFO. So I'm going to take some sound out of my radio music and plug it into this FM right here. And uh, you can hear that the music still goes through, but the distortion is very harsh, especially with the frequency and FM knobs all the way up. It's like, whoa. Careful you don't hurt yourself. Got some gamelan there. Almost barely sounds like gamelan. Something about that. Again, you don't need a voltages expander to do this. All you gotta do is plug directly into one of these bits. You'll be getting weird sounds out. It's easier with the lower bits for this sort of sound. I'm 
so beyond that if you use audio into the FM input and then you plug say an oscillator into the normal input is a lot more noticeable if we just use two oscillators. It's kind of more of a tame sound, so let's maybe listen to a lower bit also. Yeah, the... That's the sort of typical ring mod sound that you would expect. Especially if you pull back on these settings from maximum, like I've had them in this entire video. Maybe we get even. Let's turn off this sequence and swap them around. See what that sounds like. I think the Sacred Dine has a larger amplitude, so it's making a bigger difference on the FM input. Sounds pretty nice, right? I mean, for a downsampling ring mod. So there you have it. Um, I'll probably make another video using the bird as a bit crusher in the way that you're supposed to, but I was just having so much fun with these patches that I wanted to share them first. Um, thank you very much for watching.